Karnak is a charming seaside resort located in southern Brittany on the west coast of France. It is the perfect spot for swimming, sailing, and water sports. However, Karnak is also one of the most fascinating places on earth because it is surrounded by the largest collection of megalithic standing stones in the world. More than 3,000 massive upright granite stones are deliberately arranged in precise rows, extending over an area of approximately two and a half miles. Neolithic people erected these stones around 3,300 BC, but some may have been put in place centuries earlier. Today, many of the original stones are gone, destroyed for building, farming, and other uses. There are also many artificial hills, stone circles, and dolmens in the surrounding area. It is estimated that originally there could have been over 70,000 standing stones in the Karnak region. Early legends claim St. Cornelie, the patron saint of Karnak, was being pursued by an army of pagans that he turned into stone. Another legend claims they are Roman soldiers turned to stone by Merlin. Scholars at the beginning of the 19th century believed them to be Celtic temples. However, locals believed they were magical stones. We are only now just beginning to decipher the secrets of these ancient stones. Until recently, no one was quite sure what purpose they served or how they were constructed. But now, aided by satellite photography and laser measurements, the amazing geometry and relationships among the stones is being revealed. As more research is done, it is clear that the entire complex was used for astronomy. We now know that the stones were used to predict the summer and winter solstice, as well as track the complex phases of the moon. Karnak was purposely chosen because it was located at a unique latitude on the Earth at which the solstice sun, both summer and winter, aligned perfectly with the geometry used to measure the movements of the sun and the moon. Even more astonishing is that this link to a specific latitude can be found at other ancient sites around the world. Karnak has distinct similarities with other complexes, such as the Boyne Valley in Ireland, the Orkney Complex in Scotland, and the Sulberry Hill Complex in England. These sites date to the same approximate time and all appear to have astronomy as a fundamental purpose. These sites were erected at specific locations at specific latitudes using extremely precise measurements. Placements of the stones was intentionally linked to north-south cardinal points so they could be used to accurately track 
and predict the movement of the sun, moon, and other heavenly bodies. The Neolithic people who arranged these stones were not simple farmers looking at the sky and vaguely positioning stones. They had an incredible mathematical grasp of the movements of the sun and the moon at specific latitudes and how the heavens moved in harmony with the earth. 